Hi, welcome to my channel. For those who are new here, my name is Medina and I am a DIY and interiors blogger at BelowDesigns.com. I have left the link below. If you're new here, please subscribe too because that would be really appreciated. Today, I video is about my kitchen. I rent my kitchen. It's an okay kitchen as far as rented kitchens go. However, do you know when you just feel like something needs to be done just to give it a bit more life. I decided to remove the doors from my kitchen cabinets. I'm going to share with you the whole process, the paints that I chose to use to give it like a freshen up and the small changes that I made to a rental kitchen that I think lots of people can do that really helps to change the atmosphere, the feel of it. Those are the same words, but you know what I mean. Also, I was an Ivy Park fan before everybody else went crazy over it. So I've, I'm literally wearing that right now because uh, it's so comfortable and I remember I was walking on the road with an Ivy Park jumper and someone was like what is Ivy Park and in my mind I was thinking it's gonna be huge one day you'll see and it is so I'm gonna take you on a tour of my kitchen how it looks beforehand and then I'm gonna show you the after I hope you enjoy do you rent your kitchen if so leave me a comment below and let me know welcome to my kitchen which is disgusting at the moment but only because I have kind of removed the doors the cabinet doors firstly what I need to do is paint these two and the reason why I have to paint them is because I've got some really lovely wallpaper that I want to put inside however I've just kind of realized that these are white and these are brown so I think I'll paint the whole thing in general because if you look really closely these cupboards are looking really tired and old and they've been up for years so that is what I'm going to do first. I'm sure lots of people are going to ask me what I'm going to do with these cabinets. I'm just going to put them in storage. I've kept the hinges on for now. When I leave, if I leave this property I'll just put them back on. Okay so I literally used this here. I use that to remove the cabinets from the door and this is much quicker. Let me show you then doing it by hand. Here is my cabinets, a bit of a mix of plates and cutlery. Once I have finished, I need to make sure that I keep these cabinets nice and tidy, which is gonna be a challenge that I am going to welcome. So the product I've decided to use to paint the, cab the top cabinets is this, which is my favorite. Zinsa is the best primer out there. The second one is Wilco's own brand. Um, it's just basically a cupboard specific paint. So I'm gonna do this one first and then use that one. And then of course I've got my rollers and I've got my paintbrush. And I'm hoping this doesn't take too long. There's kind of a lot to remove, so I will check back once that's all done and then we can get painting. But as you can see, these cupboards definitely need painting because this I always clean, but because it's quite stained already, no amount of cleaning helps. I have cleared all of the cabinets, the top cabinet. Oh, I need to take this down as well, actually, and this, because I'm gonna be painting that part as well. Before I start my painting, I'm gonna use this and give everything a clean and freshen up and dry before I paint. The first coat of primer is on. I haven't painted the backing because, to be honest, I feel like I'm gonna be putting paper on it anyway. So do I need to? I don't think so. This is the first coat of the top coat on. So it's looking quite good. It's quite glossy though, that's the only thing. I'm not really a huge fan of glossy, glossy look. To remind you, this is the wallpaper that I'm using for inside of the cabinets. Okay, the wallpaper is now inside the cabinets. And it looks quite nice actually. This is the wallpaper. It's really, really pretty. But to be honest, I feel like I'm not appreciating that prettiness because of the blur tiles and the even more blur cupboards. So I think once that's been changed, then this will come to life. All right, do not mind the mess. Anyway, this is it. This is the final look at my top cabinet. So as you can see, I've put the wallpaper inside. I've painted the insides just to give it a nice freshen up because before they were quite yellow and uh, stained. It's already made such a huge difference to this space. Okie dokie, so here is the shelves. I'm still styling them. I have. <laughs> 
labelled literally everything. So these cork bottles and then I've also got these larger Argos ones. So this is basically all just dried food that I've labelled. I had a lot of dried food in these top cabinets so this just makes everything a little bit tidier. Again, I haven't finished styling yet. These are the bowls that I wanted to show you from Argos, which are really pretty. My favourite colour, yellow. And what else? Oh, and they've got matching plates as well, as you can see there. My kitchen laminate floor is gone. It was going to go anyway because it was it's really old. So I've not really been that careful with trying to keep it clean. Anyway, I've just started spray painting command hooks. And these are the rails that I'm going to be putting underneath the cupboards. I'm using primer just because it's quite a shiny chrome. And then also I'm using Plasti Coat brass colour because I'm hoping that the kitchen will end up being brass, black, cork, raw material eventually. I've just tried some new handles as well and I think it looks much better. I will eventually replace the doors and these handles will go with the new doors that I'm going to replace them with. I just think it, it goes much better than the previous metal handles that I've had so I'm just changing them now. <laughs> Hello, so I'm going to walk you through my new kitchen space which I'm so pleased with. First of all we have these command strips which I have painted, brass as you can see. Um, they're quite great for tiles, you don't have to make any holes and again they're really easy to remove. And then this picture frame and then the biggest change in here as you can see is the shelving. As you've seen through the video, remove the doors and now you can see this really lovely wallpaper to the backing. The part was actually displaying all of the things that I really, really like that I've had in my cabinets and no one could see. So these are so cute. They are from made.com. And then these canisters are from Aga. When I was a bit obsessed with my keto diet, that's the only cookbooks that I actually own, funny enough. Also, I've bought these really cute jars from Amazon. Um, I think this was a purchase from eBay quite a few years ago. And my mason jar, which is more for the summer, to be honest. There are some things like these bowls um, we got when we first got married. They're really chipped. But I love them so much so I probably will never part with them. So I put them up there and then also I've got these placemats from Nihal Shah Design which as you can see are like so pretty. And then the biggest thing that I really 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 like is this rail here um, that from Argos and all I've done is spray paint it brass again. It used to be like a silvery colour but that's not really my favourite colour. Spray painted it and, and just hanging my cups here as opposed to keeping them in the cupboard is so much more handier because I can just grab it, make a cup of coffee and voila. That is basically the finished this side of the kitchen. There's still lots to do. I need to eventually change the doors. The floor needs to be changed. I think I'm gonna paint this wall a dark colour. It's like a weird wallpaper, but we do have permission to paint, so I'm gonna do that. And then I've got my garage door here, which I think I'm also gonna paint as well. Just paint it, give it like nice freshen up. And then I might change the lighting in the kitchen as well. So lots of things that I plan to do, but I'm gonna do them slowly because money. <laughs> 